Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today we're doing a, a collective message um, all about what are your person's current feelings for you. Um, I don't know where we're going to go with the reading. We'll kind of see what pops out, and I'm going to just um, take it, honestly, question by question. So I hope you're doing well. I do want to let you all know I do have services open. I do have private reading bookings open as well as... Um, same day readings. Uh, I am being guided to remind you I, I, I do offer Akashic Karma Clearing and Initiation to the Guides. And yeah, that's it. Sorry, that one's a big one for a lot of you. Anyway, if you are interested in that, check it out. Um, no, I love you. No, I care. And um, mm -mm. I think that's it. Sorry, I was just cleansing. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, hi, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Let's get like the overall energy, like the overall uh, message, and then we'll just take it from there. Again, this is a collective message. If you are, um, huh, uh, you know, clicking on it is for anyone who watches. Uh, all right. So for the overall, for the collective, for everyone that clicks onto this video, um, can you tell me? I want to know, like, what, like, uh, what is the overall energy surrounding the connection, or the overall energy surrounding? Um, I feel what's going on here. Let's see. What is the overall energy surrounding this connection, please? Um, we have the first one's going to be radical acceptance. Interesting. This is number 15. I do feel um, this connection required a lot of acceptance. For one, I mean, it feels like it goes on both ends of the spectrum. I feel like one thing you had to do is accept very quickly that this was your person or that you had deep feelings for them and vice versa. I feel the other one was that um, things were not going to go well or something or things weren't going to go uh, exactly the way that you hoped they would right away. Um, I know it's funny. I know it is the funniest thing, but um, it, it feels like it's going both ways. It, it truly does. It feels like you had to accept that your person accept that this was not going to be a typical connection. And um, it feels like right now that is the overall energy surrounding your connection. That is the overall feeling um, that this is a connection that is different, right? Um, it's going to play out differently, differently than the movies, right? Unless the movie's real complicated, um, differently than you uh, you hope for, uh, um, uh, and uh, and different than anything that you ever could imagine. I know it's like the craziest thing, but we don't often, um, we don't often like, you know, I feel consider, right? Uh, huh, how I, I guess love goes or how connections that mean more go. But in my experience, they go crazy. All right. Let's look at one more. Let's look at a couple more cards. Let's see. And by the way, hi, I love you all. Hi, um, Soul Flower, Radiant, Lion Gate. I'll get your soulmate and Mia. We also have Alliance for the overall energy surrounding the connection. Hmm. You know, um, you know, it is that. Hold on. We'll get to that in a second. We have romantic love. I love this uh, this Aphrodite energy. Um, I do feel with alliance being on the table, I feel like parts of you, like your inner child, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul, are all in alignment for one. I feel like you, um, I would say normally you want this person, but I feel like this is different. It, it kind of feels like you want them, you want things to be better. Or you want things to... Um, to work out differently. It feels like the alliance is with self, right? Um, it's ensuring that we or you get the best that you possibly can get from the situation or from your life. I remember I made that choice a long time ago that I was far more important than my connection or far more important than my person. And um, that was a hard choice for me to make. It's like an alliance that one makes with self, right? I feel like you are... Um, uh, I feel like you are in the middle of making this alliance or in need of it, right? Make sure that you are just picking yourself above all else and above anyone else as well, as hard as that may be in the end, right? As difficult as that may be, um, it is important with that alliance that you are um, ultimately uh, going to put yourself first. Um, these connections can often be very, um, I want to say addicting, right? Um uh, time consuming and all consuming. All right. With that romantic love, that Aphrodite energy coming through, um, there is a, there is romantic energy coming through uh, the pink does remind you of unconditional love, joy. Um, I even want to say inspiration and creativity. Um, but Aphrodite on the table here, I feel, um, you may be hoping that things are going to pick up with this connection, but it's funny. You won't accept them like willy nilly, right? Um, you're not open to this connection. Um, uh, simply because you love this person, right? I feel like there is some kind of alliance within the self that tells you that you you won't take them back or you won't accept them or you won't keep them in your life unless things are 
happy, right? I remember when I first dealt with mine, I mean, I was crying all the time. Um, I was really an emotional wreck. And uh, I, I feel like, like you, like you, either you're making this choice, or you need to make it. Um, by the way, sorry, my dog and my cat are playing with um, one of those tubes that make a lot of noise. So I do apologize if you could pick it up on the mic. Um, but I feel like either you are uh, um, need to make or will make um, this alliance with the self where you always put yourself first. Um, uh, I feel like your own mental and like well-being, your health, I, I want to say your mental and emotional state um, above this connection or uh, at first, right? Let's say this connection is, uh, it's too much, right? You will take time to like withdraw yourself, withdraw your energy. Um, but that romantic love stands out to me the most though. Let me ask you to clarify why we have co-creation. Both you and them are attempting to co-create, um, I feel, a romantic cycle or a new cycle with each other. It's real nice. Um, with the wise leadership coming through in time, with time, I feel both of you are one of you is hoping that um, uh, someone takes the lead and someone takes some action. Um, this kind of reminds you of uh, this Kali energy kind of reminds you of Lady Liberty. I feel like you are... Um, healing yourself in the meantime as well. Uh, hmm. This kind of reminds me of uh, one of the Oracle cards I have, Deep Freeze. With that, um, I feel like you may be, there may be stuff coming to your surface right now that you need to heal and vice versa. Let's kind of take it from there. I want to know, um, what does this mean for how this person feels and for the collective, right? Um, and again, this is a collective message, by the way. Hi, everyone. Um, a collective message for everyone. How does this person currently feel? Um, let's see. All right, it's like the funniest thing. We have the first one's the tower reverse. Interesting. This kind of reminds you of that rope pump energy, but this is a dragon tail. I feel um the first message, the first energy, the first like you know, a thing that comes to mind with the tower reverse is I feel like this person, um uh, you know, when we are like stuck, right? You know, when we have a lot of energies in us that are like unhelpful and healthy, uh patterns as well I, I feel like you broke a lot within this person like i feel like you like i feel like you changed a lot within this person um the, i always see the tower reverses inner inner um sorry not inner turmoil huh, maybe <laughs> maybe um inner chaos right um inner an inner collapse right this is someone whose insides have collapsed and um which is interesting this kind of reminds you of ascension right there right um i feel like this person uh was so free they started to rise to higher vibrations so that's how they felt when they met you and that's how they felt when um they saw you and that's what impact you've had on their life you've helped lift them out of some kind of dark period in their life it's real nice actually but it happened from within um and it changed and it's uh helping them reach higher vibrations all right now let's see let's get some more we have here um the king of cups for what this means for you hmm um, we have, the, sorry, the two of coins, and the six of wands. Let's get one last one. And then we have the seven of wands reversed. And overall, it's going to be the nine of wands. Um, what this means is there was a lot of stuff when you, um, when this person met you that came to the surface that they're now going to have to heal. I see a specific issue to do with the father, right? Um, uh, definitely um a message about you know um uh, have maybe being more emotionally available let me see fought two of coins here mm -mm -mm. it is somewhat that hold on i want to make sure i get this right for you let me grab uh this is the golden healer um it's a solar plexus a uh, stone um i feel like with the king of cups being here um all the stuff that brought that you brought to the surface when this person was around you when they're near you um uh you know what's the craziest thing i'm just gonna like you know i actually really, I, maybe i like talking about myself but I think it's important. I remember when I was around my person, um, I didn't, I felt good around my person, but I remember when I came apart, I felt really bad. In fact, I felt like I felt the worst I've ever been and I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, um, even, uh, get a hold of myself. I feel when this person's around you, they feel balanced, right? They feel amazing and they, they feel on top of the world. But when they, when they leave your presence, when they go home, when they lay, lie in bed, that's when, sorry crap gets real you know what i'm saying when i say that right that's when crap gets real real here i feel like this person um uh for what this means is uh you know they may appear in your presence in your you know when they're in front of you um whole 
balanced and nice, right? I feel like when they go home, it's a whole different story, right? This person is struggling, right? I feel like you may be struggling too, um, if you ask me, but um, this, you know, the changes that you, that happen, um, you know, they're happening while you're interacting with each other, but they don't feel the impact. And so after they come apart, after you both set yourself free and after you both are um, uh, you, you let your ego down, right? Um, you let your guard down. It's the craziest thing. But when we lie in bed, our ego's not there. Not really. Um, it's there when we're out and about, right? I feel like when this person is, um, uh, laying in bed, that's when they, that's when they start to really settle into their own body. They start to really feel all the things you brought to their surface. So it feels like there are things specifically with the father that this person now has to face. Um, but it's more than that. I, I feel like there's something about balance, right? Uh, I've had this epiphany a long time ago, but uh, we need to, um, we uh, are not meant to rely on someone to give us that balance. We're meant to get that within ourselves, right? In fact, I, um, how I've always saw it, I actually, I'm sure I'm right, um, the, the people that come into our life, they're meant to show us what we're missing when it comes to our balance so that we can learn to gift this to ourselves. in the end. I feel like that's part of what's happening here between you and them right now, right? Um, that balance that you feel when you're near each other, around each other, and spending time together, and um, uh, even when you're to, like together as a, like, you know, um, as two, like a couple with other people, um, I feel like you are, um, you're meant to learn to give that, that feeling or that balance to yourself when you're not together, right? I feel like this is actually why it's so important to have that separation period. But again, this person has a lot of change. Um, this change has not manifested in their exterior world, but it has, it, it is changing from within. And that's when, that's where change is actually, change actually happens inside of us and outside. All right. With the king, sorry, the nine of wands here um, and the eight of swords reverse. Again, I actually really, really, really uh, love this deck. Um, when they're around you, this person is very guarded when they're, I feel, um, guarded when it comes to, like, their mental state. They may seem clear, calm, collected. I think it's another story when this person goes home or another story when they leave your presence. It feels like that's when... Uh, that's when it gets real, real. Like it, it's, it's interesting. I feel like you rock this person's world. Um, all right. You know, um, oh, sorry. I, I forgot. I have another channel message deck. I was looking for the hermit tarot channel message deck that I have. Um, I think I may have given it away. Um, it's, it's the funniest thing, but I have another one. Anyway, I, I will pop that out later anyway. So let's see. Um, can you get some cards here? Is there any other like messages, any other, um, Uh, any other messages of guidance that you have for for them um, before we look at this person's current feelings for you? By the way, um, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Let's see. Um, let's see. Is there any other messages that you have for uh, everyone that's watching? We have is your first one's going to be called the Muse. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we have here the Storyteller. All right. You may want to write down stuff uh, as well. It may be um, the seventh scene is the star energy. Um, I remember I did a reading for someone. Sorry, it's just like the funniest thing. Uh, I remember I did a reading for someone. I as a private reading one on one. Um, and this person said that they get these amazing channel messages, and they 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 know in their heart that they're meant to share it with people on social media, like just to give them those insights, those awarenesses, and um, uh. I, I want to say that wisdom, that divine wisdom, and it kind of reminds me of that for you right now, um, uh, for, for all of you. Um, I feel like, you know, this situation, very triggering, uh, very crazy. It, it may um, it, it may uh, huh, it, it may seem illogical, right? I feel like these messages uh, of, of guidance or wisdom or even understandings that you get will help the people that are tied to you in some way, shape, or form, especially when it comes to your social media. All the people subscribe to you or follow you or all the people that will follow you because you post things about this. I know it's crazy to say, but I feel like if you were to start to post about, um, especially inspired words, inspired um, guidance, or inspired um, divine wisdom on your social media, people will follow. People will see that and people will be helped by these experiences. I feel like that's key for you right now. Um, uh, even though it, it, maybe it will take time, kind of reminds me when you, um, when you see someone like post on Instagram, it's just like a paragraph or something like that, like that, that's the kind of thing that is you're being guided to do. That's the kind of thing that's going to, um, for one, help you. Right. Um, I, I've got news for everyone here. When I read, 
when I'm channeling, when I'm giving this out, I'm learning too. I learn as I do it. I learn as I go. I learn as I process or as I progress. Um, when you post about this or when you write about this, you could even be a book, right? Um, it could even be um, a blog, right? When you write about these things, you're going to... Um, uh, you're going to start to process and heal yourself, right? And then simultaneously heal the people that read it as well. It's real beautiful. Um, this is a really great way to do a lot by reaching a lot of people while simultaneously helping oneself. Um, again, um, this is actually how it always goes. It's so it's like <laughs> um, every single time I do a reading, I learn something or actually most of the time, hopefully, but uh, I learn a lot. I, I grow a lot and I um, I start to understand even more. I feel like you you have a lot of wisdom that you could be sharing that you're not. All right, we have shining through. This is going to help you shine better, right? Um, help your light shine. I do feel, um, especially if you're having trouble understanding the connection or this person, I feel especially if you are having trouble getting uh why this is all happening, you will start to see things clear. All right. And then the last card we have is going to be great big love. Hmm. I am seeing this right there, that great big love. This kind of reminds you of like um of, of a fairy tale. This person, this connection is a bit of a fairy tale, but um I feel uh hmm. I'm going to give you what I what I what I'm getting here. I feel like you have all this energy, right? You have all this inspiration, you have all this creativity. Um where are you focusing it? on right now, right? Are you focusing on this person or this thing that's not really moving? Or are you just like, um, oh, sorry, that is a good example, but uh, uh, oh, oh, why not focus it, all this extra energy, all this extra, um, uh, I want to say creativity, right? Um, why don't you focus all this extra creativity on something that you can uh, grow, right? Um, and something that you can cultivate. With your overall, we have the burst of magic. You have a lot of energy at your disposal, a lot of potential, actually, is what it's called, right? Uh, potential energy. Um, why not use it to create something for yourself and to help others, right? Um, I feel like your voice, your wisdom, your um, your inspiration, and just your energy, it, it matters, right? It will make a difference in people's life. I know it's the craziest thing, but I cannot stress how often you, I, I just, even comments, right? I read it and I just know that that was for me. I had to read it that moment. Even they sometimes do trigger you, by the way. It's normal. Um, but I feel like the, the messages I'm getting, um, you're you're meant to help people, right? You're meant to give them these these things, right? Um, and they're meant to help you as well. Um, so give that a try, right? Let's see, let's see. Let's, let's look at how this person currently feels about you um for everyone by the way hi sunflower boyfriend pokey fellow we sorry fellow heart um ventina kiwi diamond yeah uh let's see see so we're gonna look a little bit more here at um uh at sorry i'm just knocking the energy out um we're going to look a little bit more how this person currently feels about you. Let's see. So how does this person currently feel right now about um, uh, the collective? Uh, their, how does their person currently feel about them when it comes to a collective message for every single person that's going to click on this video? Um, how does their person currently feel about them? Let's see. Um, for everyone that will find this video, let's see. We have um, Epona Wise Leadership. Okay. Hmm. You know, uh, one thing that is like the craziest thing, I will just say it like this. I feel like this person sees you as stronger than they are, right? Um, more capable than they are and definitely a lot more together than they are. Um, this is probably a projection. I feel like that strength that they see in you, they probably have within themselves and vice versa for that matter, right? But this person sees you as very strong, very capable and very wise, right? Um, there is also a message for those that are maybe in disconnect or maybe those that your connection is not moving anywhere. They truly feel if you really wanted them, right, because you're this wise leader, because you're strong, because you're capable, that you would make a move towards them and make your intentions known about them. With that wise leadership here, um, I feel like there is a bit of projection um, uh, when it comes to this. Uh, it says this message, right? We have a green, uh, sorry, Gara Salvation. Okay. Uh, we also have the Ike Ambition. Oh, and then the last card we have, actually, it's this one right here. Oh, I'm going to take this one instead. We have a Water Ocha Mama. I wanted to take this one. I will say it, Potential. I said this earlier. I feel like there is a lot of potential in this connection, way more than you can imagine. Um, this person really does feel and know that there is a lot of potential here. Um, 
they may not be ready to access all of it, right? And then we have Lilith independence. Okay. So this person's current feelings for you are very clear. They feel, feel you're strong. They feel you're capable. They feel like you can pretty much handle anything. And if you wanted them or you wanted this connection to go further, then you would just take it uh, into your own hands and steer this connection into the direction that you want to. I feel here um, uh, for everyone that's watching that you may have a little bit more of a passive approach to this connection. I feel like there's actually two reasons. I'm going to look in the shadow parts, right? Um, I actually will look at that. Sorry, shadow has been my theme uh, to, for my healing right now. So I'm actually going to take a look at that. But I feel a lot of you may uh, fear that there won't be success here. So you want to like try or you fear that you like them more than they do or you love them more than they do. Um, so you're worried that it's more one sided. I know it's crazy. I feel like those are the two main ones, but we'll see what else is there. Some of you's got daddy issues. I can see that as well. But this person truly sees and feels that if you um, uh, were interested in them, um, sorry. Um, just clean the clearance. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this person really does feel, and um, if you were interested in them, if you wanted more, then you would take control of the situation and uh, go after them. With this independence here and that devotion, I feel like this person sees you a very focused on the self, or very focused on what makes you happy right now. And since you're not moving towards them. They kind of feel like it may not be for them. You may be focused on your ambitions or focused on your career or your purpose. Um, nothing wrong with this, by the way. But I feel like this person feels, uh, it's not inferior. I don't feel like that. Um, they feel like maybe now is not their time to be with you or maybe now is not the time to be with you, right? With this Mama Ocha here in this water and this wise leadership, I feel like you're going after your own fulfillment and what makes you happy. So I want to look a little bit more. Um, so I know that this person wants you to take the lead and wants you to usher in that new path, that new era, that new... Um, new path, new era, new um, connection, right? Or a new way, um, new dynamic, um, or even maybe an upgrade in your connection. They want you to manifest it. So I want to know why aren't you and maybe why you don't feel like you should. So let's take a look here for um, a green, sorry. So green guards, this card keeps standing out to me. It's salvation. I have not, I have not actually looked at it. Salvation is an interesting energy. Um, this person feels like you're the one that's going to save them, maybe even save the connection as well. I feel like this is something that maybe is in their, in their shadow, right? Um, let's take a look. I will look at see why this person isn't taking any actions towards you right now, but um, we'll see. So let's see. Why isn't uh, the collective... Um, I think I say focus on this person. Why, aren't, why isn't the collective taking actions or um, why... Yeah, we'll see. I, I was going to do your, your biggest blocks right now, so maybe, right? We have the King of Swords here. Hmm. You know, um, one thing I can see, and it's such an odd message, you may not want to steal this person's thunder. And what I mean by that um, is you want them to be the one to save it. Um, it's like there's almost no risk. I don't know. It's it's a funny thing, but you kind of want this person to have that experience. Um, so it kind of feels like it is in your shadow a little bit, right? With that Eight of Wands here in its reverse, I feel like in the past, sorry, um, uh, uh, I almost, my throat center almost closed up. I feel like in the past, um, uh, you're, uh, you may have tried and it burned out. You may have tried and it didn't, uh, it didn't have any success. Um, and it, there was delays and frustration. So you may be, uh, wary. I remember when, um, I, I've, I, I, I've similarly stepped up, right. Um, it didn't work for me. And I thought I did something wrong or I did it too soon or I did it too late. Um, never think like that, right. You try the best that you can, but I feel like in the past here, um, uh, everyone that you did try, you gave it, you gave it your all, you gave it your best shot. It didn't work, but don't let this past experience where nothing transpired or nothing worked in the way that you wanted it to hold you back from taking action with that 10 of wands here. Um, and the King of swords, you're looking for a partner. Are you looking for someone that does as much as you do? You're not looking to carry all of it, right? So a big part of the reason why you're not taking the lead is you don't want to do everything. I feel like that one of the biggest reasons why is I feel like maybe they're not in the best place or maybe that they're not in the best um, position. Um, you are looking at this, like this person not having, um, I feel like you're looking at... Uh, at the situation and not wanting to pick up the slack um, because you may feel like they're not as interested in you. I don't know about that. In fact, I feel like this person is more interested in you than you can imagine, but you kind of want them to rise up in that role right now. All right. We have here the Knight of Cups, or sorry, Knight of Coins. Um, why isn't the collective taking any action right now? Um, it's these two. 
Um, we have the nine of coins and the six of coins reversed with the three of swords. Um, your heart's broken. I feel like your heart was broken um, maybe before you met them, uh, definitely after um, or definitely during. Um, this connection hurt. Um, a lot of you may have felt like you were backstabbed or you may have felt betrayed or you may have felt caught off guard when it came to this connection. One of the biggest reasons why you're not taking action is you're not ready as well, which is funny because this person sees you as very, very solid, very whole, um, of going towards your ambitions and your goals. This is healing, right? When we go after our passions, when we go after our um, our creativity, it does heal us, right? Um, sorry, I, I just, I, I just um, I had an epiphany. I just love it. I just love it. Anyway, with the Knight of Coins here and that Nine of Coins, uh, these actually do, these two come out so often. Um, I I feel with the Knight of Coins here. And the nine of coins on the table, mm -mm -mm. you um, you're kind of focused on you right now, on your own goals, your ambitions, and your own money. Uh, with the six of coins in its reverse, uh, as well as the eight of coins, I feel like in the past you feel like you gave every, you gave all, right, or you did all, um, and you're not kind of looking for repeats. Um, I'll leave it like that. Anyway, so let's take a look here. I want to know, how does this person currently feel right now about um, the collective? How does their person currently feel about the collective? Um, let's see. Mm -mm. We have Into Me, I See. It's a beautiful energy, by the way. Um, they feel like you're going deep within the self right now. They feel like you're going deep within you. With the number eight being here, I feel um, the number eight is a number of strength. Um, it's also a number of compassion. Uh, one thing I can see, um, uh, this person's feelings for you are enduring. I feel like it's, it spans lifetimes as well. Um, this person feels so deeply for you and has lasted, I, I feel like, <laughs> you know, um, one of the things that I, I, I really do want to emphasize, you know, you know, our spiritual connections, the love that exists there isn't just from this lifetime. It's from all the lifetimes we spent with them. Right. And, and the in-between lifetimes as well. I feel here, um, this person's, uh, you know, um, and your feelings for this person, a uh, span beyond just this lifetime and they feel it. Right. So our feelings for you are, um, um, with that number eight is that infinity symbol, isn't it? Uh, we have here Waking the Lion. I do feel like this person's heart did activate, right? I feel like this is someone whose heart is more open. I, I Sorry, it's like the... Um I did a, I'm doing a pick a card reading right now, everyone. Oh, by the way, I do have a pick a card channel. If you are interested in that, you can check it out. Um, but I remember do, I was doing a pick a card reading and um, this actually came through very strongly. The energy is still here. I feel like you activated this person's heart. You opened. I feel like you open up this person's heart um, and that's how they feel about you. It's interesting here as well. Um, they attribute um, uh, like their new way of being, how they see the world and how they feel about things to you. By the way, my dog is barking again. Um, he gets very, um, he's very guarded uh, when it, you know, he's very good at protecting our house, by the way. Anyway, um, uh, when in doubt, just get a dog. Anyway, we have a tall tail here as well. Um, do you know um, when you don't know how you, why you feel a certain way about someone and you don't know why you you care so much you kind of wrap up like you kind of fill in the blanks does it make sense um i know it's the craziest thing uh i i, I don't i don't know how to phrase this like i feel like this person dissects you they right? um they dissect their feelings for you and they just like they go over it again and again and again to the point where it makes no sense and it's like a tall tale it's like nonsense really um this person's feelings for you and i really do want to emphasize this it's real funny they fill in the blanks so they have no freaking idea why they feel these ways about you right why they think these things about you and why um you mean so much to them they have no idea so they tell themselves again and again and again um and they they rehash it they rework it they repurpose it um they reword it right and this person is like slowly but surely um uh, coming up with a tall tale like it feels like it's further and further from the truth you know usually the simplest answer is the best one right uh the simplest answer is the most closest to the truth i feel this person loves you because they love you right period end of story but they've come up with all these reasons why and um 
they filled in all these blanks and it, it sounds like craziness now. I want to like, um, it kind of reminds me of like uh, something I like to do. You know how you like to daydream and it, it, your daydream just take you real far, right? Um, it's the funniest thing. I feel like this person's daydream take them real far and uh, it's the dangers of what you, um, uh, one thing I can see that this person's focused on is the past and a little bit of the present eventually when that wears itself out they're going to move towards the future which is a good sign by the way future is forward but i can tell this person is filling the blank after blank you know like ad libs it's like that right and it's like they, it just gives them these, these these epiphanies and these uh um these different realizations it's really funny anyway uh let's grab the last one and we have oracle's gift for their feelings for you um they see you in their future this is coming next by the way i can see that um they do see you in their future but they they're focused now on why they feel the way they feel in the present um and it's going to their past again and again and again it, it's a beautiful thing but i remember when i went it took a similar journey you know you go to your past you open up that kind of worms um you're not just going to the past when it comes to your connection you're going to the past when it comes to all the other unhealed stuff from it right so this person is going to go back and comb through everything and start to heal that. Real nice, by the way. But what they're doing in the meantime is filling in the blanks when it comes to why they feel these ways about you. They feel all sorts of ways with the quieting the mind and the grand symphony. Mm. Um, quieting the mind is like you know, meditation. I was trying to do that in the shower right before I came here, by the way, I, or right before I started your reading. Um, it's very important to do. It's very hard right now for me, but um, with that grand symphony here, I can tell that this person's feelings for you. It, it's, 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 you know, when we experience really, really, really big epiphanies or really big shocking things, uh, you, I don't know, I hear music, right? Um, it, it's like I hear specific music, it's real nice. I feel like this, when this person's around you, when they think about you, when they have those real big epiphanies, which I feel they get from these tall tales that they tell themselves, they start to hear music. Uh, they start to hear that symphony and it's shocking. I feel like it's really, really shocking for this person. Um, anyway, sorry, it's like, uh, it's a beautiful energy, but let's see, let's grab some channel messages from them and then we'll kind of look, I wanna see like their next move. I think it's our last message and then we'll, I'll, I'll leave it there. But again, um, I, this is a collective message for any, everyone that clicks on it. Um, by the way, hi, 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 everyone. Um, uh, any channel messages, please, from this person? What does this person want to say uh, right now? Sorry, it's right here. Uh, we have I'm a, um, a smug SOB. I feel like this person... Um, they may come across as smug, but there is a part of them. Um, I don't get that one though. I don't get that they, this person thinks that um, they're, they're they can do better. It doesn't feel like that at all. I feel like with that that smug energy here, this person they may. Um, I'm gonna just throw this out there. You can take it how it resonates. Um, they may know that you love them. And it allows this person some freedoms there, right? I'm going to leave it like that. It's not going to be for everyone, but it, there's just a little bit of this coming through, right? Where it's like this person just knows that you love them so much. It allows them all the freedoms to just be careless with your connection. Um, that will be for those who resonate with it. Um, we have, I'm being pulled into different directions um, for this person's channel message. I feel it's this right here. They're going to the past. They're, they're daydreaming about the future while they're simultaneously stuck in the present. Um, this person feels stretched. They feel thin and they feel, um, um, they, they feel like honestly, like a quarter of themselves right now. Um, uh, this person does need to get themselves put back together. The chariot in its reverse is actually oh, how I, uh, oh, my card, um, the chariot reverse for me, um, uh, is about, um, you know, that it's like, you know, you're, you're on a chariot and you, and it collapses, right? I feel like this person may have had some setbacks recently, right? Um, you do make this person feel at home. I do feel this. Um, I, it's an odd thing, but I'm just going to throw this out there for those of you that may be talking to someone else or maybe opening yourself up to other options. They're not, um, in any way, um, um, hmm, they're not in any way. How do I phrase this to you? Uh, worried <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. They have no worries, no concerns, no nothing because they know you're the one for them and vice versa. I know it's crazy. This person's so sure of themselves, but this tall tale is maybe part of it, but there's more than that here. Um, this person knows that maybe they've seen visions of the future with that Oracle's gift, right? They know that you're going to end up together. Um, probably the case. Um, but with that, I'm a smug SOB. This is someone who truly 
isn't threatened by anyone else when they talk to you or isn't threatened if you uh, um, maybe get to know someone else or spend quality time with someone else. They know that you, sorry, they're the one for you and vice versa. That smugness, I feel may, may, um, may backfire, but who knows? Anyway, we have, I'm afraid of where this path leads, the number 18. Um, with the moon here, this is the illuminated moon, the illuminated path. They are, um, I feel like they are afraid. It doesn't feel that bad to me though. Uh, you know, the, the moon is our subconscious, our subconscious body. Um, it does feel like this person doesn't mind going too deep, but right now I feel like this person may be healing. Let's get some more. We have, this is the, the fool. Let's just do it. Um, when they're ready, I feel like they're going to take a leap towards you, all right? But in the meantime, focus on you. Focus on what brings you happiness, all right? I'm getting back on my feet. They are. Um, it takes time, right, when we get hit, when we get knocked down to get our, sorry, to put ourselves back up, right? I shouldn't have treated you like all the rest. I actually really love that card. It's the Hierophant, right? Um, this is about traditions, customs, belief systems. I feel here, um, Pile 1, there's something about the father coming through. Like, they may treat people like their father does, or they may be careless, like, um, like maybe like their father. There is a strong message here with this hair font here that they want to be different, treat people different, treat you different. Um, and this person really wishes they had it. Um, with their overall, I can't make up my mind. I feel this has to do with the stories that they tell themselves and how they're dealing and processing and seeing everything. This person's perspective. Um, one thing, it's the craziest thing. I'm just going to throw this out there, but they may not have the broadest perspective. So sometimes looking at things from little bitty angles or a different angle or even a story can help you see something you've missed or help you see something you're not seeing. I feel that to a certain extent. It's not going to be for everyone, um, but there's a strong, strong message about um, this person. Uh, the way that they they look at things or the way that they're they're trying to figure everything out, they're looking at it through different angles, right, um, or different tales. Um a lot of times, I know that it sounds like it's craziness, but a lot of times when I'm pulling stuff, uh, when I'm uh, channeling, I uh, I uh, I will get reminded of a movie, right? That gives a different spin to what I just channeled, and I am able to pull a truth there, right? I feel like this person does this to you, your connection, how they feel about you. Um, they if they pull a random, uh, maybe a random scene in a movie, or uh, maybe a specific movie, or maybe they pull uh, their their history, or maybe they pull. Um, Something they saw in the magazine, and that that they see that they feel there's a connection with, and then they start to re to work it in to find the truth there. I know it's crazy, um, but it feels like the way this person's mind works. This helps them find truth, but it also comes with, I don't know. Um, I don't think this. I think it's they're going to be fine, but it also comes with that tall tale. All right. Um, I just want everything to be perfect. The Knight of Pentacles. They are working on themselves. I feel like they are working to better themselves as well. Fears isn't the biggest uh, the thing uh, I, I feel like this person is worried about. What are they worried about most? Um, ruining the connection right now. Um, I feel like this is coming from their shadow, by the way. I feel like it's coming from their shadow. Um, the Seven of Swords as well is about betrayal, but uh, lying, deceit. I don't really feel that. I mean, I, it would be, I guess, to each uh, for each of you is what that means to you. But what this person's biggest fear is ruining your connection or ruining you or hurting you in any way, shape, or form, all right? Um, hmm. I feel like one of their biggest uh, fears as well is fate, right? Um, meeting again. Hmm. Maybe that as well. Some of you, they may feel like they'll end up with someone else or something like that as well. All right, let's take a look here. We're going to look a little bit more at, um, I want to pull some guidance for you. I guess I'll do this one. Let's do guidance, please. Yeah, let's do guidance, please, for um, for the collective. Any guidance that you have on what I just received for the collective. Hmm. We have your first one is the sun. Actually, I really should look at what that means. I just look up anyway. Um, we have, uh, sorry, forgiveness, generosity. And then it also came out with sacred unity. Okay. I feel here with flow, um, your guidance right now is for you to move towards what is right in front of you rather than what you truly wish was. Um, when we start manifesting or when we start to like, um, uh, uh, taking control of our life, being sovereign, um, we sometimes want to move towards things that may not be in alignment with us right now. Um, if you're facing a ton of resistance or something that just doesn't feel right, um, drop it for now, right? In life, we only have like so many choices, right? Um, so many, um, paths, I feel here um, uh, right now, uh, whatever path is in front of you that has 
the most, right? The most potential, the most abundance, the most flow, the most, I want to say the inspiration, right? The most guidance to move towards, move towards that first, even though it may feel like you're moving away from this connection, or even though it may feel like you're moving away from something that you want, um, you are moving towards what you need and what's ultimately going to make you the most happy with the sun being here. All right. But generosity, um, uh, I feel, hmm. Be generous in spirit. That's actually what I want to say to you. Um, sorry, it, it is that though. Hold on. I wanna sorry, I'm gonna grab a stone. Let me grab, let me grab this one. Uh, Amazonite's actually a really good stone. Um, can I get this one? What does the generosity mean for the for everyone watching? It is, there's two messages coming through. First, be generous with the self. But the second one that comes through with generosity is for you to um, give yourself grace, right? You know, um, I don't know what's happened in your connection or what's happening, um, but it feels like there's hurdles, blocks, challenges, there's hills, actually what it feels like, hills. Um, give yourself grace, be generous with yourself. Um, uh, it's an odd thing, but I actually might do it right after this. I. Um, I actually really like getting the smoothie. Uh, I know it's crazy. I, I'm really am thinking about that, right? Um, uh, treat yourself, right? Be generous with yourself. You know, um, that likely comes from the inner child. Um, whenever we work a lot, the inner child needs some to blow off some steam. The inner child needs some love. The inner child needs some happiness. The inner child needs what it needs. I feel like your inner child is craving some stuff that you need to give, right? Um, these even include experiences. I remember when I was doing a healing for someone, I think it was a healing, and I told them, uh, whatever your inner child wants to do, even if it wants to play with Barbies or, or toys, or even if it wants to go to a playground, go ahead and do it. I'm, I know, I know um, that may seem weird, but your inner child is the one who you really want to make happy, right? Um, to fill you up. Um, be generous with your inner child, okay? With that forgiveness here, forgive yourself as well for whatever has happened here um, and for whatever, for whatever mistakes you feel you've made. Um, we cannot forgive others without first forgiving ourselves. That's key. Sorry, the air came up. And we also have the sacred unity. Um, the happier you are, the more whole and complete you're going to feel. This is reminding me of all that light here. Um, I feel, um, er, you know, everything comes back to one, right? Everything comes back. I feel like the, the message that comes through is um, hmm, live life to the fullest right now. All right. Uh, with the flow here and that romantic love, I actually love that the, uh, that the Aphrodite came through one more time. Um when you move towards your flow, right, you're going to find what it is that you seek. Um, it may be this person, maybe someone else, um, but move towards what you feel divinely guided to move towards. Um, I, I know it's crazy. You may feel like you're moving away from it, or you may feel like you're not going to get to what you're happy, your happiness. You will. All right. I'll leave it like that. Let's grab, um, let's do one more thing. I want to do what this person's um, ne next move towards you is. Um, let's see. And then... We'll get some uh, more channel messages. I want to know what their secret thoughts of you. Oh, that's a good one. Sorry, maybe that one. Um, we'll do both. We'll do both. I actually like that one. Um, let's look at their secret thoughts and then uh, the next move. So let's see. Can you tell me? Um... <laughs> Sorry, it's, uh, it's funny. Uh, what are this person's? Uh, what's this person's next move towards the collective? Like, what is their person's next move towards them? Yeah, there it is. What is their person's next move towards them right now? What is their person's next move? We have the first one's going to be the Ace of Swords. Interesting. Ace of Swords reminds me of the knot right here. I feel like this person's next move towards you is to start to break through the knots. This kind of reminds me of this person's brain. I feel like their mind may have a lot of knots in it. One thing I can see that how this person has worked things out, how they've worked things through, telling themselves all those different tall tales or combining stuff, right? has allowed them to see things they miss or see things they would have never uh, seen, but it's also knotted up their mind a little bit, right? Um, those neural pathways that all of us have, I feel with that Ace of Swords here that this person, um, I feel like this person uh, uh, needs to free up some of those knots, some of those those things. These often create blocks in us, right? Um, this person is working. They have to cut through those blocks right now, um, uh, everyone. They have to, all right? Uh, we have here the chariot. Um, hmm. This is about riding that wave. I feel like this person um, is going to take action towards you. Um, I feel like they're going to sum up all the power they have to um, take control of the situation. It, I feel like, though, they're going to ride a wave, though, to get there, right? This isn't someone who's going to create the wave and then ride it, right? They're going to wait for the right wave, and then they're going to ride that, the right flow, and then they're going to ride that to your doorstep, all right? 
we have here the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, the Ten of Cups reversed is about um, is there's this harmony, right, um, in the family, right, in fulfillment. Um, this person wants to overcome all that. Um, all that is blocking that fulfillment. And what's crazy is that we have to remove all the blocks, right? If you want all 10, everything, right? We have to heal everything, remove, through, sorry, remove, heal, um, uh, uh, even cut through everything to get that, to get the fulfillment that we want, all of it anyway, right? This person is willing to do that. So we have the Knight of Coins. Hmm. You know what's crazy here? Because I see this really fast momentum, right? Um, uh, it's, it move towards you and towards this connection. I also see it, um, as funny as it is, they want to go slow. I know it's funny, but it is, it's like there's real fast movement to get it going. And then once it gets going, they want to go real slow because this person doesn't want to rush it, right? With that moon in its reverse, you know, when you're walking at night, you walk slower, right? Um, when you can barely see, you walk slower. You're not running. Um, this is someone who wants to walk this path with you, wants to take this action with you, wants to... um. Um, move in your direction, but when it's the right time, when that flow hits, and then they want to take it real nice and slow so they savor every single moment. Um, you know, if you're eating like your favorite food, you know, um, uh, and you know, like, I, I don't know, I'm not saying you're not going to get another one, but let's say that, right? Don't you want to take time to like really like eat every bite, try every bite and get every flavor. That's what they want for you right now. And that's what they want for your connection. With the Wheel of Fortune being here and the Page of Wands, I can tell um, uh, this person is going to take inspired action towards you. They're going to wait for the right time, though, with that wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is time, right? Um, it's symbolic for time anyway. Uh, uh, this person, you see this little, this little webbing? Mm, it's very interesting. I don't know. I don't know what I want to say about that, but I see that webbing here. Uh, I feel like this person is looking to get caught in your web, everyone. All right? So I want to know what their secret thoughts of you are, um, and then take it from there. So what secret thoughts do they have about uh, their person? Sorry, what does their person have? Um, sorry, what secret thoughts does their person have towards them? What secret thoughts does their person have towards them right now? Last one. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. It's, it's beautiful energy. Okay. La oh, sorry. The first one is a deep breath. Hmm. So I feel, I feel like they could be dramatic. Maybe, maybe not with that deep breath here. Um, there is a fear I feel in their subconscious. Um, I feel maybe in their shadow um, that they they may just get hurt in the end. Um, maybe, maybe not. Right. Um, love is not without its risks. All right. Uh, we have a tall tale for the secret thoughts. You're never going to know about this person's crazy stories that they come up with, crazy ideas that they have, crazy things that they've had to tell themselves to get truths. I know, I know real crazy, but, um, this lurks in their shadow or this, this is a secret of theirs. Um, they may come up with like, um, a, a pet name for you or a secret name for you. I don't know. Um, know that, it's, it is what it is. It's how they, they process. It's how they think. It's how they rework stuff. Um, this person does have a sweetheart. Uh, all right. Uh, we have uh, a burst of magic for this person's secret thoughts here. Um, you move this person. They won't. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess they won't necessarily tell you that, but you do move this person. Um, and this person really likes the impact you've had on their life. Uh, we have the beautiful uncaging. Yeah, you you have activated their heart. You have helped unblock it as well. You know, it's a crazy thing. Um, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but it did channel through. You know those messages that we tell ourselves, we'll never have love again, or we, it's love's not worth it. I'd rather die. I don't know. Um, I feel like with that beautiful engaging here, uh, this person uh, didn't think that they'd fall for anyone again. And lo and behold, here we are. Uh, it, it is what it is. So they'll never tell you this, I guess, or it's currently their secret. Maybe they will in the future, but, um, this person is very clear that they didn't plan for you. Um, and here they are. All right. And we have Oracle's gift coming through. They've had a vision of you. Uh, I don't know what this vision and, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, what's in it. Right. Um, but those visions that clairvoyance, right. Sorry, clairvoyance, clear cognizance, clear sentience, clear audio. Yeah, clairvoyance, clairvoyance. Um, I feel like that clairvoyance um, uh, that they have has given them that vision, and they see uh, uh, they've seen something here. Uh, they know something, and 
um, they're not going to tell you, right? It kind of feels like jinxing it, I guess. It does just a little bit, not crazy amount, but it, there, it's, it's somewhat there. And we have roots of abundance. And <sighs> we have it is what it is. I do feel... Um, I do feel like this person is, uh, you know, their secret thoughts of you are um, to create um, better roots. Um, they may be, and I know it's an odd thing to say, but um, they may be trying to work on some new projects to help bring in more money or bring in more financial assistance. Um, I'll just leave it like that. It is what it is. It's a very interesting energy to come through. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. It, sorry, I want to, maybe I'll grab the Amazon again. I just want to make sure I have that one. I can tell that that's important. What, why is this a secret thought, right? Um, oh, I see. <laughs> Never mind. I, I got it. I feel like you're, either your connection is stalled, stagnant, or separated. I don't know, right? They're going to leave it as leave it be for now, right? They're waiting for some kind of sign of synchronicity. So this is in their, I guess, a secret thought of theirs. Um, they're just not going to push it, all right? Um, and that's kind of it, right? Let's get some channel messages and then I'll get some guidance for everyone, all right? Okay, let's get channel messages. What are their secret thoughts right now? Uh, uh, what is their first secret thoughts? We have, this is reverse. I see things clearly now. It's reverse because this person has a hard time um, uh, seeing everything. Uh, maybe the situation is complex or maybe, um, you know, it's an odd thing because I see this person so savory, right? They may not want to see the whole picture right away. They may want to take their time. Uh, they may want to, um, sorry, they may, they want to just take it bite by bite. It feels like this person is just there right now. I got to be honest with you, everyone. Um, with this, uh, a number 19 here, I can tell that they're not, they, they don't want to have all that clarity yet. One, I feel like that clarity may make them do something they are not ready for. That's part of it, by the way. But it's not the only one. I feel like they just, they want to savor. Um, I feel the mystery of you, the enigma of you, right? Is that what you call it? We, we have the Ace of uh, Pentacles reversed. Um, they're not going to make an offer yet, but they will. And then we have, I want to grow old with you. They'll never tell you that, I guess. I don't know. But um, this person, um, maybe that's what they've seen. But it, it means a lot, all right? We have, I'm right where you left me. There are some parts of their life that have moved forward, and there's other parts that have not. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. It's like the, no, yeah, I will leave it like that. I'm not going to dissect it. And then the last one we have is I'm getting back on my feet. This person may show a front, or they may show themselves more put together than they are, but um, know that they mean well. They're not, they want you to see them in the best light. And um, they're not ready to, to, uh, to let you see them uh, fully, right? They'll probably tell you about it later on, by the way, maybe, I don't know, but, um, they definitely are, are, are getting themselves put together. I think they show you this, by the way. I don't know. I'm going to just leave it like that. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but let's see, let's get some guidance for you and then I'm going to end it here. Hmm. I'm like trying to figure out if I like this. I think I do. I think I like, um, the collected message. I may do them for a while. You know what? That's true. Hmm. Anyway, let's see, a collective message, sorry, a collective guidance. So what is the guidance for the collective, for everyone that's going to watch this video? What's the guidance that you have for the collective? Our first one's going to be um, a transformation, Shakti. Mm. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. One thing I can see, um, I know that we got some messages that maybe are triggering, maybe not. Everyone's feelings change, right? Uh, they evolve, they grow, and they become something new. It's normal, right? Uh, when feelings stop changing, that's how you truly know you how you feel about someone. Does it make sense? Um, it's when you settle, not settle, sorry, it settles, right? Your your heart lands somewhere, and it's telling, it feels like truth. Um, I feel the guidance that comes that's coming through is remember that our feelings for people change the more we discover more about ourselves, and the more that we discover more about them. And I have news for all of you. It always lands on love. All right. Um, it always does. There's, there's, uh, there's nothing about that. But um, what this tells me here with this Shakti, I feel like you are, um, your feelings are transforming. Their feelings are transforming. Let them transform, right? I'll also be willing, especially like your person does, to go in every angle. All right. Um, sorry, it got real sexual. Um, we also have um, uh, Lakshmi. Lakshmi, sorry. Lakshmi, a uh, fortune. Interesting. Focus on uh, the good fortune. Um, know that you met this person. Um, so many people wish they met someone like this, right? So many people, right? Focus more on that, right? Less on what's 
not working out in your favor, more on what is working out in your favor. I know, I know, I don't think I'm sitting here um, uh, not struggling with this myself. Of course I am, right? We have um, Ike Ambition. Yeah, focus on your good fortune, focus on your abundance right now. Manifest, manifest, manifest. Um, just like they're doing, um, uh, make a better life for yourself, all right? And then the last one we have is humor. Focus on the brighter side, that's key. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that, uh, sorry. Uh, huh. It did come through. Sometimes when we're working with the beings of light, they really do lift us up so that we can handle um, heavier stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, but with the ambition here, um, focus on your good fortune, focus on your abundance, focus on making money, focus on getting your life together and getting yourself more stable. Um, I feel like your feelings for this person will stabilize as well. And we have miracles, Mary. Um, Know that this connection is miraculous. Um, I, I want to leave it like that. I really do actually want to leave it like that. I don't mean to be like that person, but maybe I'm going to leave it there. That's behind here. We have salvation. Um, know that this connection is miraculous. Know that this person is miraculous. And know that you meeting them is nothing short of a miracle. Um, focus more on that. Less on maybe the other stuff, okay? I'm going to leave it there, everyone. I want to thank all of you uh, for being here. Thank you for sharing time and space. Uh, please don't forget to like and comment. And take care. Bye, everyone.